Hey folks, this is back from Zeppelin. I'm one of the co-founders. Today I will give you a quick tour of Zeppelin. In fact, I'll talk about seven different parts of the product that thousands of teams rely on every day. First up, finalization. The main reason teams use Zeppelin is to have clear separation between designs that are in progress and designs that are finalized, that are ready for dev. So let's switch over to this Figma file. And I'm going to select these frames and export them to the Zeppelin project using our plugin. And once the designs are in Zeppelin, they're finalized, so there's no confusion. You can think of the Figma file as your playground where you get to explore freely. And Zeppelin is your stage where you get to present your work. Next up, let's talk about design versioning. As you keep exporting frames into your projects, Zeppelin keeps track of their versions automatically. For each screen here, you get a version history panel, where you can see exactly what's changed and when, even with things like commit messages. So instead of having versioning for your entire file filled with a bunch of autosaves, you get more like a Git-like experience. Versions are stored for each screen separately, they are intentional, and they're easy to follow. Next is organization. The infinite canvas in design tools is great as you're exploring ideas, but for design delivery, you need more structure. And Zeppelin gives you that structure with features like tags, sections, subsections, and even things like screen variants, where you can combine the different variants of a screen into one. So with all these features, the project is really easy to navigate for everyone. So you can do this organization manually, or you can use our AI organize feature to automate the whole process. Next up, design documentation. Static designs don't always tell the whole story. That's why in Zeppelin, we have annotations. You can write down things like design behavior, requirements, edge cases, PMs can come in and add more detailed requirements. Even backend devs can come in and add things like which endpoints to use. So the idea is we want everything that a dev needs to be right here next to the screen. Annotations are great for individual screens, but what about the whole project? Well, that's where user flows come in. With user flows, you can use your existing screens in your project and map out user journeys with things like connectors, shapes, and labels. So it's clear to everyone how everything connects. Now, let's talk about design feedback. And I don't mean the early stage design feedback that happens in the design tool. I mean the kind of feedback you would need once designs are finalized before devs start coding. Usually this type of feedback ends up scattered across meetings, different tools. So we're trying to bring structure to that. With the approvals feature, you can select any number of screens and request feedback from any specific people in your project. And this works a lot like a pull request in GitHub. And with AI design review, without waiting for your teammates, you can quickly catch things like layout inconsistencies, accessibility issues, and even things like typos. Design systems play a big role in design delivery. In Zeppelin, we have what we call style guides. They pull together all your design system variables like colors, spacing tokens, typography, and all your components all in one place. It's the home for your design system, and it's not just for presentation. As a dev, whenever I'm looking at a design, I can quickly see the components that make up this design. I can even take it a little further and connect these components to a storybook. So I can immediately see what components make up a design and which of those components already exist in my code base. And the good thing is you don't need to set up your style guide manually. With the Figma library sync feature, you can just paste in your Figma library link and Zeppelin will create the style guide automatically. Finally, let's talk about design specs. This is where Zeppelin started 10 years ago, and we really perfected it over time. As a dev, I can click on any element to get all the specs I need, and click on things like images and icons to get all the assets, and all the code snippets for things like layouts. And using the Zeppelin MCP server, I can even prompt my AI agents like Cursor or Cloud Code to generate a component from the layer that I have selected. And I can use features like pop out. Whenever my work is done, I can just overlay the design on top of my development environment to see if I've missed anything. So our goal in Zeppelin is simple, to give your team structure in design delivery. So you spend less time looking for answers, flagging issues, double checking pixels. All right, that was the tour and we hope to see you in Zeppelin soon.